showing today is a 3D overhead camera system. It's doing full object recognition, interactive gesture, and giving us interactive projection. So if I put down an object, we can create a dynamic behavior like fire breathing dragons. We can create static scenery like a street when we put our Lego house down. There's no electronics in any of these Legos. So these are just regular building blocks. We're always tracking the pose and orientation of any object. When our Lego dragon gets close to the house, if I bring him in from this angle, it blows fire and the house catches on fire. If I move in our fire engine, it always knows the state of objects. It can put out the fires. Stop spraying water when it notices the fire on the house is out. And the other thing we have is a little train. Again, no electronics. So this creates an interactive touch surface for me. And I'll just move it over here so I can reach it a little better. What we're doing is dragging and drawing the track. And then I can drag and drop the train station anywhere on the surface. It's tracking for each thing. When my fingertips are coming in contact with the surface, that's letting this become a multi-user interactive tabletop. Our train is still tracked. When it pulls up, passengers can get on and off the train. The dragon still knows about all the physical and virtual objects in the sea, so it can light anything on fire. And the fire truck knows about any of the objects on fire, so it can come into the scene and immediately put those things out. This is using the new Intel Sandy Bridge quad-core i7 Gen 2 processor. We're running eight threads in the background to process all the algorithms. We're using full AVX capabilities, hyper-threading and turbo boost to give us this kind of performance that we need to allow for this highly dynamic, highly immersive visual experience. Excellent. Well, I really hope this makes it out of the labs and into something in my house. Thank you very much.